Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Vue.js tutorial for beginners in Hindi and this is our part number 54. In this video session guys, we will see about delete and list operations using PHP APIs in Vue.js application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Vue.js tutorial. So basically guys, in the previous video sessions, we have discussed something called insert and update operations and those basically methods using post method. So if I back to editor, so we have performed operations kiya something called insert API call, scroll down and this is update API call. So agar guys, if you have started this video session here, so I strongly suggest you to watch all of our previous video sessions that we have done inside this playlist called view gestorials. और हमने सारे कोड्स को अपलोड किया हुआ अपने गिटहब रिपोजिटरी कॉल्ड Vue.js to CLI इसके अंदर गाइस हमने Vue.js के कोडिंग के साथ-साथ हमने सारे एपीआईज को भी अपलोड किया हुआ है जहां से आप इसे अपलोड कर सकते हैं सो इफ आई गो टू जस्ट इनसाइड Vue.js एपीआईज इनसाइड api.php सो दिस फाइल एक्चुअली कंटेंस ऑल द कोड्स दैट वी डिड फॉर आवर PHP एपीआईज जहां पर हमने इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट एंड लिस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग सारे कंडीशंस को हमने लिखा हुआ है so inside this video session guys we are going to consume our delete and list operation jahan par hum ek delete operation ko method ko call karke hum ek id ke behalf pe hum apne is database table se kisi ek particular record ko delete karne ja rahe hain so just back to editor so to call the delete and list method guys actually we have to use called the get method kyunki humne use get method ke andar define kiya hua hai and this is for the list operation is call down and this is for the delete operation. So if I go to home.view, first of all, we have to make a request for that. So let's say that this dot axios. Basically, we, we are going to use called the get method. And here we have to pass our, our URL. So scroll up. This is our URL. So let me copy that. paste here inside this URL section. Now, we are not going to pass any parameters inside the body because this is not the post method we are using. Here we are going to use get method. If we go to api.php and now inside this api.php guys actually we are not receiving any parameters from our body params variable. So, if I go up here here guys, we have parameters received by using called file gate contains and here is our PHP input method. So, we are not passing any body parameters here. We are going to pass all the variables inside query string. Okay? So, on the behalf of that query string variable, actually we are receiving inside this delete method. So, let me go to home.view and let's say that here is our query string parameter. So first of all, we have to pass called the action. So basically, we are going to consume our de delete PHP APIs. So this will be delete. Along with this delete parameter, which we pass an extra parameter, something called ID. And this is called the student ID. So if I go to database table, and now this is called the ID section. Okay, 1, 4 and the 6 correspondingly. So I basically a parameter pass karne wala to delete any record of a student. So let's say ID equal to something called 4. It means that we are going to delete the number 4 record. Okay, so let me just make some of the promises method. So let's say then define a callback function and this callback function contains the response from the server. So let's say response. Let's say console.log and let's say response. And finally we have to make a catch method basically to catch the exceptions or errors on the server. So here we have, let's suppose we have some error. Hamare paas koi error hai and now we are going to console that. So console.log and let's say error. So if I save this file, go to browser and this is our front-end application. So now here is our response. Because guys, we have the method called basically inside mounted method. And mounted method is one of the lifecycle method of Vue.js application. So this method guys automatically trigger. Hoti hai. So if I open this data object, here inside data property, here we have values called record deleted successfully. So just back to table, reload this page, and now number 4 record has been deleted. So if I back to editor, so this is our git method guys to delete any records 
on the behalf of the supplied ID. So basically, ये सारे coding guys हमने अपने API.php में की हुई है, जहाँ पर हम एक ID value को retrieve करके by using our query string parameters, we have deleted that record from the student table via ID equal to ID. So basically guys, this is operation about delete operation. Next we are going to learn about listing. Means हम किसी particular students को और सारे students को record को list करना चाहते हैं. So how can we list all those records? So if I go to api.php, scroll up. Now inside this get method, we have a list action that we have defined. इस list के अंदर guys, अगर हमने कोई id parameter pass किया हुआ, it means that we have passed any id parameter inside our query string. Actually, we are returning a single student details. जहाँ पर हमने एक particular single student की detail को return किया हुआ है. साथ ही साथ अगर हमने कोई id parameter अगर supply नहीं किया हुआ, it means that we have id parameter equal to empty. उस केस में गाइस हमने सारे स्टूडेंट्स की लिस्टिंग की है सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन में गाइस हम कोई भी आईडी पास नहीं करने वाले हैं सो लेट्स से दैट दिस डॉट एक्सियोस लेट्स से गेट मेथड फर्स्ट पैरामीटर वी हैव टू पास द यूआरएल सो दिस इज आवर यूआरएल एपीआई यूआरएल पास हियर वी हैव टू पास ऑन द क्वेरी स्ट्रिंग पैरामीटर सो लेट्स से एक्शन Basically, this will be list operation और हम कोई भी ID parameter attach नहीं करेंगे to get all the details of the students. So then, let's say function. Inside this function, let's say that response console.log and let's say response. And finally, let's say catch inside this catch function let's say we have to define a callback function inside this callback function let's say error so here we have to write let's say console.log console.log and let's say we have error so if I save this file go to browser front end page and now the page had been has been reloaded itself because we have called inside our mounted method so open up this data object now inside this data object guys we have some parameters and something called data found data inside this records we have two records basically we have two records inside this records variable and this is because we have two records in this database table हमारे पास दो record है guys so it has returning all the two records okay so अगर हमें अपने records को show करना हो so basically response dot data basically response dot data dot records variable so let's say records so save this file reload this page and now as we can see that here we have two records open up and these all values from our database table so this application guys up or attractive bana sakte ho by using called click event listeners jahan par ek button bana sakte ho us button ke click event pe aap data ko get kar sakte ho like this or you have to store all that values inside data object parameters or use aap front end pe render kar sakte ho we are actually using directly inside our mounted method so what happens actually we will pass any id parameter inside our query string parameter hum koi id pass karne wale hain so let's see that ID and basically this ID contains any value from our database table and let's say number six. So let's say six. So if I save this file, go to browser, front end page, reload this page, and now we have a single record. So open up this record. We have only records related with our post ID called six. If we want to read actually number one ID, so just replace with one. Reload this page. And now we have all the details of the student one record. So in सारे operations तो guys हमने अपने API dot PHP के through control किया हुआ है. Suppose if you are receiving any ID, it means that कि हमारे पास इस variable के अंदर कोई parameter है. And by using that variable, actually we have retrieved a single record of that student by the help of this ID. Else, अगर हमारे पास कोई value नहीं है, it means we have to return all the values inside by the help of this query. So basically guys, ये video sessions थी हमारे delete as well as list operations को. इस application को guys अगर attractive बनाना हो, so just you have to make a table. By using this list APIs, you list all the student details 
on each row of a student actually you have to add three different buttons first of all called the edit button second called the delete button or extra buttons if you want then you can add so by using update button जो कि गाइज हमने अपडेट ऑपरेशन बेसिकली यहां पर कॉल किया हुआ यू कैन यूज दैट एक्चुअली फंक्शनिटी इन साइड दैट बटन इवेंट लिस्नर एज वेल एज अगर आपने डिलीट बटन बनाया हुआ है सो बेसिकली यू कैन कॉल दिस ए पी आई टू डिलीट एनी पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सप्लाइड आई डी इन साइड दिस क्वारिस्टिंग पैरामीटर सो बेसिकली गाइज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो सेशन एक्ट वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट डिलीट ऑपरेशन एज वेल एज लिस स्टूडेंट डेटा यूजिंग पी एच पी ए पी आईज इन व्यू जेस एप्लीकेशन सो इन साइड दिस वीडियो सेशन गाइज इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट दैन प्लीज ड्रॉप योर कमेंट आई विल गिव माई रिप्लाई एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो फॉर दिस वीडियो सेशन गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे